What's going on everyone, my name is Tenebris Infinite, and today we're going to talk about how to turn your Phoenix bases into infinite machine farms, offering infinite loot, med kits, and most importantly, vision modules. More so a war of attrition than something that requires much tactic, these are real easy to set up and only take your time and ammunition to get up and running. In order to take on a task like this, you'll want a good chunk of medkits or experimental medkits, a good couple thousand 50 BMG, and full auto ammo of choice probably around somewhere in the 10,000 mark, plus a melee weapon in case if you run out of ammo towards the end of tearing down the base. This can also take quite a while to do solo, so if you have a group to play with, maybe try to rope them together for this task, and if you play alone, try to set aside a good couple hours to get the destruction done, then you're farming afterward. First off, before you really start to focus on tearing down walls, you'll want to head around the base destroying all of the turrets. As you do this, try to keep stock of where your machine spawners are at, so you can minimize their losses while you go about cleaning up the base. After you've got all the turrets out of the way and most of the spawners figured, a big thing to save your time is that 50 BMG can pierce through these walls. It goes about three walls deep, and even though the damage drop-off is pretty heavy as you pierce through, the way it speeds up the whole process makes a huge difference. Try to take advantage of all the red fuel cells that you find on the walls for quick and easy wall destruction. Also, bring an LMG along. The high magazine count lets you do large stretches of walls much more quickly than assault rifles. Even just softening up the walls to then finish off with your 50 cal is a really good approach. If you start to get overwhelmed by machines, you can always draw the combat outside of the base to finish off large groups, and even escaping for hit and runs is an effective approach of the machine model control. And lastly, you can use your hammer or explosives, but try to avoid the thunder attack and any sort of AoE damage near the spawners. They're pretty fragile and it won't take much to destroy them accidentally. After that, it's just a matter of grinding and getting the base chunked down piece by piece. These bases all spawn as compartmental bases right now, so a bunch of varying boxes connected up all together. So just follow the perimeter of the base, then go through all of the interior walls for an easier time than destroying at random or trying to do each individual box. And. Blamo! After that, you're good to start farming, and there's a couple ways you can go about this. Now, before you start farming, try to do a quick loot through if you can. You'll likely have piles of machine corpses to go through with a good chunk of loot in them. Then, when you get to the farming, using melee weapons is the most cost-effective way of going about it. Most machines will be easy to destroy in this open setting, so it should be pretty easy to get to them all before new ones start spawning in. Then, if you're going after a specific type of machine, like, for example, I'm going after Seekers here, you just want to destroy the corresponding colors for spawners, and you're good to farm till you're absolutely tired of all of the loot in combat. For now, we have three types of spawners. Red for Seekers, Purple for Doggos, and Blue for Hunters. The Blue tend to destroy themselves though, which is a small downside of the airborne summons of machines. By the way, getting this footage of these spawners, it was as difficult as you'd think it is. Now, you can totally also do this with just a whole bunch of different types of spawners. That keeps combat a little bit more spicy, but I find if you're farming for a specific thing, like for me, I was searching for uh, vision modules, uh, you just want to go for one specific type of machine just to kind of focus on that loot pool and uh, not waste so much ammunition in the process. Like realistically, you probably don't need to farm doggos unless if you're doing an assignment or something like that. But there we go, how to set up an infinite machine farm. As I said, it's a very simple process, just a little bit on the time-consuming side. But the payoff in the end is well worth the effort, as I was able to farm a bunch of OPV mods, and one of the holy grail, the multivision mods, which are rarer than unicorn farts it seems. So 
hopefully this will help you on your journey here in Generation Zero. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, and if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing for more. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.